the rotten veil. There is a darkness hanging here that not even the brightest flame can pierce. The smell of the uncovered grave is heavy, and my heart is filled with dread. When I was a child, the village elders told tales of a red terror, an emaciated shape that moves in the shadows, a lurking beast with a long, mottled side. They warned me never to enter the dark places. They said that those that fell into the claws of the Crimson Terror never returned. Until I came to the New World, I thought these stories contrived, a clever lie to scare the children and keep them from straying into the darkness outside the village gates. I never dreamed that one day, I would enter a realm of decay and shadow, searching for that very beast, searching for the one with the mottled side. And yet, here I am, in the deep recesses of the Rotten Vale, seeking out the very thing that haunts my nightmares. My name is Strawfoot, and this is the Odegaren. There's so much death in this place. To move in the veil is to wade through a grim sea of decay. I can hear the bones crack beneath my heel with every step I take. There's nothing I'd like more than to run screaming into the warm sunlight of the coral highlands, back to Astera. But if we hope to learn anything about the strange creatures who call this place home, we must press on. Just up ahead, I can hear the sickly, shrill whimpering of an Odegaren. It seems that breathing in the effluvium is taking a toll on its lungs. The Odegaren slinks into view, carrying a choice cut of rotten meat ripped from the long-dead carcass of a Legiana. The Odegaren is a scavenger, its primary food source, the wyverns that come to the Vale to die. Unlike many apex predators in the New World, Odegaren rarely needs to hunt living prey. Its digestive system has evolved and adapted over time to allow it to consume vile, putrid, and decaying flesh without harm. Once the Odegaren has eaten its fill, Revultures and small insects will finish cleaning the skeleton, leaving nothing but the bones and toughest ligaments behind. The Odegaren prowls through the charnel remains, searching for a place where it can eat in peace. Let's follow along and see what else we can observe. The Odegaren is classified by the Hunter's Guild as a fanged wyvern. More specifically, it belongs to the wyvern family of Garens, its closest living relative is a species of wyvern known in the Old World as Urogaran. Urogaran are known to mate for life, often prowling the frontiers of the Old World, hunting cooperatively to bring down larger prey. Unlike the Urogaran, the Odegaran appears to prefer scavenging the dark recesses of the Vale in solitude. The Odegaran's most formidable weapon is a double row of claws. These razor-sharp talons are capable of shredding the thick hides of fallen wyverns, severing meat from bone. Unlike its old-world cousins, the Oregaran, this fanged wyvern has lost its fur coat. Its body is covered instead by slick crimson scales, which allow it to move through the decay of the veil, feasting on carrion without becoming contaminated by the remains. The Oregaran's powerful jaws are capable of crushing bone and scale, allowing it to easily devour nearly any creature that dies in this place. Even a heavily armored brute wyvern like this Radaban will quickly learn to keep clear of the Odogaran's powerful fangs and scythe-like claws. Despite its comparatively small size, the Odogaran is a peerless predator. The apex monster of this region, it dominates the food chain of the Rotten Bale. While not as fiercely territorial as other apex wyverns, it's more than capable of defending itself when the need arises. The Odegaran's only natural predator is, of course, the human hunter. The Odegaran is a valuable resource to our community. Its scales and sturdy bones are highly sought after forging materials. That said, the combined ecosystem of the Rotten Vale and the Coral Highlands exists in a delicate balance that must be preserved. The Odegaran and other large scavengers like it are the first step in the process of decay, which nourishes the coral highlands above us. Overhunting this wyvern could irreparably damage the fragile balance of these dual ecosystems. Please, hunters, it's of vital importance that the hunting guild's quotas be strictly followed. Any unlicensed hunting observed in the Rotten Vale should be immediately reported to the guild knights. As always, this has been Strawfoot. Thanks so much for listening, and uh, hey, Make sure you click all those buttons for me, all right?
Peace out.